Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are delighted to see so many of you here. Who knew when we began this thoughtful process of adding some art to orange that it would become the political football that it has become? It is truly astounding. I must say, it was a rude awakening to find how very polarized these times are, and that a simple plan to beautify our town, beautify, beautify our town has become so controversial. That was never our plan. We just wanted to add some art to the town, for the town to enjoy, and to attract visitors to our community. As has been in, done in other small communities, such as Strasburg in the Shenandoah Valley. I've always known that three people will not agree on whether they like a piece of art. And everybody has a right to their own opinion. But we should respect the difference. Hopefully, I know we can make all the pieces happy all the time, but hopefully art will make people think and bring some enjoyment. I know there have been a lot of emails sent to uh, downgrade what we've done and talk about destruction of history and uh, how we don't care about the community. Well, you know, that's not true. The Art Center has been around here in Orange for 25 years, and we found recently that some of the people who are so up in arms didn't know it existed. Okay? So, we have existed for 25 years, and I want to tell you that Todd Brown, the guy who did this mural, is a friend of mine. I've known him for a very long time. This mural has been up over 15 years. We're not exactly sure of the exact date, because Todd never really signed it or gave it. Okay? I have been in communication with Todd's family. Todd's brother, Tim, sent me a very nice email talking about getting rid of Todd's mural. And I know that was sent to an awful lot of you, but you never heard my response to him or his response to me. So I just want to read you his response to us replacing the mural. Um, thanks for your kind and detailed explanation, Mr. Holliday. It sounds like you and the committee have certainly done your due diligence to find an artist. And I understand that the mural is faded and the place of mural is perhaps necessary. My only hope is that the final mural design is one that citizens of Orange will take pride in and something they can relate to and appreciate. The, local, the, the location of the mural on the wall that everyone will see coming into town on West Main Street, tourists and locals alike, next to the fountain in the beautiful Taylor Park. I hope it's represented as well. <laughs> and we feel we've done that. I know that there are people who think there should be murals of the founding fathers or everybody else. Well, that's fine, and there are other places that can, that can be done. We have never said that we are the only ones who are doing mural. If somebody else wants to do a mural, try to build it and do it. We encourage it. We set out to do three murals. We picked three locations, starting with the art center, because that's where we wanted to start showing what art can be and how it can be different. Um, these two locations, we met with the owners of the building. We thoroughly discussed what the process was and what we would do. And we showed them the artists that we had selected to do their mural. I know that each of them had innumerable calls and visits from people saying they didn't like it, they were destroying history, and things like that. Well, the owners of the two buildings that have yet to have murals on them have agreed with them. They want the murals that we are proposing, and we have offered 
a divide. And we have said, people, and everyone will have a chance to write down your comments and put them in the fishbowl. And no, we are not going to burn them. Okay? <laughs> the answer is, we are replacing this mural with another mural. We would like your constructive criticism and comment. But we are not opening the microphone up to a general discussion because we will get no we are so polarized, so many ways, that we just cannot do that. So, please, there are comment cards there, and even though I've got indigestion, they're called being donuts over there. <laughs> so, please enjoy them, and I will now turn it over to Anna. And if you have any specific questions about the process, I will be happy to discuss that with you later, and so will Anna, okay? So, Hello, everyone. I would like to echo Ed's comments. Thank you for being here. This is your chance to have input, to provide suggestions to the very talented artist who is sharing his time, his passion, and his creativity with our community. What more could you possibly want? I'm going to talk briefly about the process that we went through so that that is understood by everyone here, including people who support the project, those who don't, and those who are in between. As Ed said, no one thing is going to please every person. But we do hope that we can find a compromise and a middle path that will be something that will allow everyone to continue to enjoy this beautiful public space and know that they had a part in what it ended up looking like, that you participated in a process that was designed for you. About two, two and a half years ago, I saw that there was an opportunity from the National Endowment for the Arts to apply for a grant specifically designed for rural communities like ours that was going to bring, be able to bring something new, some excitement, we have so many new residents of Orange joining people who have been here for their whole lives and everything in between. And so my own family roots are here and I have multiple members of my family here today and I'm so proud to be somebody with such strong connections to this town and to be able to bring this project to my community. And so when I wrote that grant, I did it with consideration for the Art Center in Orange's considerable contributions over the 25 years to this community, including the original Gateway Mural. Who here remembers the original Gateway Mural? It was on Route 20. It lasted for a really long time and was in fact such a successful project that it was what led to the Art Center having its home on Main Street. In the spirit... Yes, because of Bob Morin seeing the community effort. That was why we have our home. And we want it to be your home too. And so when I wrote the grant, I said, this is our history. It is bringing people together. It is creating new art. It is always moving forward and reflecting who we are and the best of us. And so when I wrote the grant, I designed a process that has been successful in various other communities, just like ours that are historic, that have the same kind of population, are in rural counties, and have done nothing but bring economic success, tourism, and new opportunities to those communities. And I said, that is what Orange needs. We have new businesses. This is a way that the arts can support the economic development of our beloved town. And so we designed an open process. <laughs> This was announced as soon as we received notification that we had been approved for funding through the Challenge America grant. I was on NBC 29, somewhat surprisingly. They didn't tell me I was going to be on the news, but there I was. Um, on NBC 29, we were on the front page of the newspaper multiple times. We made sure that artists all over the world, as far as we could reach, but mostly close to home, knew that this opportunity was available that they would receive compensation for their work, they would receive support, and they would be joining 
a tradition of creativity that goes back 25 years. And so we had an uh, open call. The deadline for submissions was April 1st. After that, our selection committee, which included multiple community members, old and new, looked through the 24 applications that we received from artists who believed that this was an opportunity that was something that they could be proud of and that they wanted to contribute to our community no matter what that meant. And so they shared their hopes with us in the form of their art. And we reviewed those applications carefully and selected three that we believed were going to be able to carry the ball across the finish line and bring us something new and beautiful. Today we are joined by the second artist who has received the award, Juan Pineda. He is talented, he understands creativity and how it can uplift communities, and he is here to share himself with us. So I ask you, please, welcome Juan Pineda to the stage. <laughs> Following his brief remarks about his past work and his proposed design for us, I do ask you to please, you'll have comments, write them down on the comment card, place them in a fishbowl. They will all be reviewed as Ed said. They will be sent home with Juan so that he can revise his sketches based on the things he has learned here today during his visit, so that the end result is a mural that takes into account your comments and feelings as residents of this town. So please, Juan Pineda. Thank you. Thank you everyone for being here today. Now come and see. <laughs> <laughs> so, my name is Juan Pineda, also known as Cry and Street Artist. I was born and raised in the city of Guatemala and lived in, uh, in the state of Maryland since the mid 80s. Yay, Guatemala! Thank you. <laughs> I have a bachelor's degree in media arts and animation from the Art Institute of Washington. Since 1998, I've painted numerous murals that I've worked on private and commercial art projects throughout Maryland. Virginia, in Washington, D.C. And yes, I have had a few euros hang it on and understand what that feeling is like, but it's part of being an artist. Some of my clients include Home Depot, Mercedes-Benz, Honda USA. Today I'm here at Scalar Park to share this cast and support for street art. Thanks to the Art Center Mural Program and the support of local sponsors, and obviously you guys, has been giving me the opportunity to embellish this community park with fresh color palette. It's symbolic state symbols such as the state bird, state flower. The composition will be composed of geometric shades and some organic elements used throughout this park. Together, both styles come together to create spaces for ability, beauty, while highlighting nature elements and wildlife. It's the best of both, the both worlds, realism and abstraction. I hope I can meet everyone here today to share the top with your comments and get your thoughts behind this amazing project. And I'll leave you with this quote by Bansky. Art should comfort the disturb and disturb the uncomfortable. <laughs> Thank you. Getting so old, I need assistance. Um, anyway, again, thank you all for coming. As I said, please make your comment. You know, I know Todd really never signed the date of this, but he's there with some of his family. And, you know, we pay homage to him and to the mural that was here for all of these years. So it's not with the getting history, we're just changing things a little bit. Okay? Thank you all for your time. Please sign your comments. And if you need to speak to Anna and I, we'll be here. And I will try to be calm.
Thank you.